a player moving on, George Miller. How did this all come about? So George has come back training in the back end of last season. Um, missed a week or two in pre-season with a, with a little calf injury, but since that he's, he's trained every day. Um, an honest conversation with George just to say, look, join say Billy Sharp are ahead of you uh, at this moment in time, um, and we feel that maybe it's best for George to move on and, and, and try and develop his career elsewhere. Um, I'm always fair uh, as, a, as a manager and I try to be fair to, to my players and I was open and honest with George to tell him that and he appreciated that because he, he's gone through a tough period for a year um, but I think we've supported him really well in that time as a football club to try and get him back um, but the last thing George needs at his stage of the career is, is not playing football and I can't guarantee that here you know we we have six forwards we have two number nines in Sharp and Ironside. Um, we feel we're really strong in that department. So um, for me, I think it was it was important for me to, to explain this to George, um, to let him know this because the last thing he needed to do is another year without football because I don't know where you go well. I don't know where you go from two years of not playing football. Um, so we made a decision to obviously let George go and speak to, to its clubs and, and that's how it's went. And that's a player with undoubted ability at, at this level, but as you say, that opportunity, if he's not going to have an opportunity, uh, go on and, and, and show what he can do. Well, look, he's, uh, he's got, Joe Aaron said, he's got 25 goals last year. He's got the AFL's leading marksman for many, many years. Two top class forwards ahead of him. You know, you, sometimes you've got to look back and reflect and, and, and have a look at your group and be fair to people. You know, I think that's really important in, in management, yeah. I could easily have strung George along and kept him and let him be the seventh man and um, you know sometimes he'd be on the bench sometimes he wouldn't but he's not it's, it's not right to do that I think it's important you're fair with people and I think we have been with George as a football club and I think I have been with that conversation with him so I wish him all the best and you know hopefully he goes on to have a a, a good end of his career he's got plenty of years left and hopefully he, he carries on even after what you've said inevitably the question will be will, will you look to bring any more players in at this stage no we're, we're good with the group we're, we're really fine we've got a really strong 22 I feel um, you know you'll see at the game you'll see the games coming up and then the game tomorrow against Rotherham for example we'll have 10 starting with 10 on the bench we've got 11 on the bench sorry and we've got Ben Close to come back so there's a real there's a real strong group here um, but as I always say, we, we, we're always looking. If we can improve the group, we will. Um, but I'm really happy with, with what we've got.